Well, it might be at first glance easier perhaps in an area like ours, uh, food, agriculture and so on. But if you really dig into it, you will also see that, uh, for example, agriculture, the way it is uh, handled today is not sustainable uh, and that we will have to make major efforts, especially in the area of agriculture, in order to make it sustainable. One of the main issues is water. Now you're talking uh, about energy and uh, the question is, of course, all the time, I mean, energy is not sustainable. Uh, well, let me uh, say, I personally believe that we will be uh, not running out uh, of uh, fossil energy uh, because I strongly believe that uh, we will invent new technologies. You see, we didn't leave the Stone Age because there were no stones anymore in this world. And I'm quite sure we are not going to leave the fossil oil age that we have basically enjoyed for the last 100, 150 years because there will not be oil available. I think we will leave oil in the ground because we will have more efficient and different types of energies. So I think sustainability should be at any business uh, consideration and strategies. The water issue, to make it very simple, uh, is, is, is the following one. We, are, we, are, we need about uh, five liters of water uh, to be able to sustain our life. We need about 20 liters, 25 liters for minimum hygiene. This is 25 liters, okay? This is what, what I would call is a social product. And as a social product, you can also call it, it is even human rights. Now, that is one thing, but then, we are using about 200 to, five to 500 liters water per capita and per day for all the other things that in our household, which is for car washing, for dishwashing, for uh, the gardens, uh, and so on. Now, this part already I don't think is a human right. I think this is we are using a commercial good that should have a good price because if it has a good price, we are going to take care of it a little bit better. Now, household alone only takes 10% of the total fresh water we stroll. So we are talking here 10%. 20% of the water, fresh water is being withdrawn for industry, for production, for energy construction, so, and so on. And 70% of all fresh water is withdrawn for agriculture. Now, agriculture uses 93% of all fresh water because industry and households give a big part of the water back. They have to be treated, but they, they, come, they come back. In the, in, the, in the agriculture, we use it basically for the production of food. So while we are drinking five liters of water per day, and we are using 20 liters of water for minimum hygiene, we are eating every single day somewhere between 3,000 to 6,000 liters of water because we need one liter of water pro calorie that we eat if that calorie comes from vegetables or from grain. But if this one calorie comes from an animal, we need 10 liters of water. So therefore, the most important part in the water issue is to see how we are using water in agriculture. That's where we have to look at. And unfortunately, we are using water in agriculture in a very, very inefficient way. Why? Well, one of the main reasons is that water in most parts of the world for agriculture is a free good and doesn't have any price. So in today's world already, we are overusing water in a substantial manner. We have several big rivers, Rio Grande, Yancey River, which are not bringing one drop of water into the oceans because agriculture is using it in a non-sustainable manner. So this will have a major impact on the food security of this world. Because at the same time, as our productivity, agricultural productivity goes backwards and we have this enormous lack of water, we have an increasing population. Just to give you two figures, every second I talk, two people more to be fed and 0.2 hectare of arable land less available, okay? Due to urbanization and due to erosion. So those are the big challenges and that's why I believe that water by far 
is the biggest challenge that humankind has in the next 10 to 15 years. Mm -hmm.